I just invested another $1,000 into Algorand, and I'm gonna show you why I did it. Taking a look at Algorand, this is one of my accounts. You can click on right here, and you can see April the 13th, if you scroll down here to the bottom, 998, it was $1,000, but there was about $1.50 in commission, so we dropped another $1,000 into Algorand. So I'm gonna show you the spreadsheet in a minute, why we did it, how much money we got in this trade, then we're gonna look at the charts and see where Algorand's headed next. Okay, so this is part two of our Algorand trade. Right now, Algorand's 18 cents down 2.12. It is April the 13th, about 7.20 in the morning. So we got in Algorand the other day. We're gonna go look at the spreadsheet in a minute, see what we bought before, and then I'm gonna show you what I bought again today. Okay, here's our spreadsheet, Algo. We started on April the 4th is when we bought our first thousand dollars at that support level, 24 cents. I put that limit order at 18 cents. I said if it falls down, I was gonna pick up some more and I bought another thousand dollars. And so I've put so far into this trade, two thousand dollars and we've got 9,571.80. And you can see right here on Coinbase, right there, Algo, we had that limit order. Now, I placed that trade on April the 4th. You know, if you watched that last video, I had that limit order. And we picked it up at 0.185, the 5,375. Real money, $1,000. As far as profit and loss, we just got in it. I'm not going to calculate that yet, but that's where we stand right now today. You can see that Algorand was in this descending triangle. Normally, a descending triangle comes in a downtrend, but sometimes it can come in an uptrend, and it did this time. So we were hitting our head on this resistance right there. You can see we bought it when it came down to that 0.22 cent support level, went up. We were ultimately waiting to see if it broke to the upside or downside. I told you in the last video that if it broke down, and it broke down with the vengeance. You can see that TTM Squeeze Pro these green dots tells me that it fired, right? That indicator tells us when these cryptos are setting up for a big move. We just don't know which direction it's going to go. Look, last time we were in that squeeze, we shot up here. So we were in that squeeze. We went from a mid compression to a low compression. Also, the Ready Aim Fire Pro tells us that momentum also gives us the stickers because interesting enough, and this is why I bought, we have a green sticker. So that tells me even though price broke with a vengeance, I mean, it went down hard. Everything took a beating yesterday. There was a green sticker. So underneath all that where you couldn't see, people were starting to buy. And so I had made a, I had put a limit order down here at that around that 18 cents ish. And when it tanked, it freaking filled. So what's online next? So where are we expecting Algorand to go and where would I be interested in adding some more? I have a support level down here at 0.15. You can see that's where it bottomed out. We had that bullish divergence on the Radium Fire Pro. So this is a significant area. So if we drop down in here into that 15 cent range, I am going to buy some more. I'm going to continue to scale in because my ultimate price target is now, first of all, we have to get back through this 22 cents. But once we get back through there, flop around around that 28, 30 cent, you guys know my ultimate price target is 43 cents. But I'm going to start scaling out as we work our way to 39. But taking a look at the big money right now, you can see that Hey, as far as the institutions, there's a no buy situation. It's no color. So they're kind of on the sidelines, but retail is selling. Look what we just got right now. And this is the Traders Edge X crypto software. It lets me know what the institutions are doing, what retail's doing, and when these coins are overvalued or undervalued. We're just getting a buy sticker right now. So that tells me <laughs> these shorts might be ready to get squeezed or undervalued. So I definitely like this move that I just picked up. But if we break down again, 15 cents, I'll be willing to add some more. So I'm gonna put a limit order on Coinbase right now that if we drop down to 15 cents, let's pick up some more. I'm on Coinbase, so I'm gonna go over here to ALGO, ALGO. Now, what I wanna do, pay with, I'm gonna hit USDC. We've got about 9,000 something dollars that we can work with and we've got to put it to work. Don't leave your money just sitting around in the bank. 
So let me just make sure again where we want to pick it up at. Just so we got it there. We're going to pick it up at about that 0 0.1550. All right. So let's go limit order 0 0.1550. And on the amount, it's going to be $1,000. So let's just double check. 1,000 USD. Limit order 0 0.1550. And then we're going to hit buy. That order will stay open unless, and again, if it never goes down, it's never going to get filled. But if it goes down into that level, it's automatically going to trigger and I'm going to add another $1,000 and I'll be updating the spreadsheet, keeping you guys posted every second of the day. So here's, if we take a look at the indicators, right? The Ready Aim Fire Pro Momentum is coming out, but we just got that buy sticker. So we know retail, the, the, the shorts, are about to get squeezed. I'm looking for this to come back up, do this hookup, maybe hook into this bear flag pullback, retest that. This will be that bullish divergence, just like we did over here, which led to that explosion. So I'm gonna be looking for that divergence to kick in, shoot us back to the 22, maybe get this squeeze momentum, go back into another squeeze and chop around, and then launch back up to that 0.28, 32 cents, but on the indicators, I'm going to be watching those really closely. If you're interested in learning how to trade these crypto markets or the software and indicators that I use to trade it, make sure you check down below in the description of this video if that interests you. Hey, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. Hit that little bell to get notified when I shoot a brand new video. And if you want to see what happens next, make sure you click right here. Now, if that video is not ready yet and you like Matic, I just put another $1,000 in that bad boy. Click right here to check it out.